Picture this. You have this cool content idea using an overhead shot. You set up the shot in the scene perfectly. You're excited and ready to start shooting. So you press record. And then the camera starts shaking. Nothing too crazy, but just enough to ruin your perfect shot. 10 seconds go by and the camera is still shaking. 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds goes by before the camera finally stops and you can start filming your masterpiece. Only now, you realize that the camera has been out of focus this whole time and you have to start all over. <laughs> What if I told you that this Bluetooth remote can stop that from happening and more? The Sony Wireless Commander. Weird lengthy name for a remote, but hey, it's small enough to fit into your pocket and gives you the most functionality you need at your fingertips. You have the plus and minus buttons for focus and zoom functions. Below that, you have the shutter button to take photos or record videos. And below that, you have the autofocus toggle button and a C1 button that you can customize on your camera. And of course, at the very top of the remote, you have the LED indicator to show you when an action is actually registered on the camera. On the right side, you have two switches. The top switch controls the zoom or function mode of the plus and minus buttons, and the lower switch controls whether the remote is in photography or video mode. On the left side, you have the lock switch that stops you from triggering the camera if you decide to put it in your pocket or carry it in a bag. The most common scenario where this remote comes in handy for me, other than the overhead scenario that I mentioned earlier, is these talking head videos. Usually I would hit record, sit down, and start delivering my content to the camera. And in between each segment, I would get up, walk over to the camera, stop recording, go over my script, start recording, make sure that I'm in focus, sit back down, and start delivering my content again. But with this remote, I can control the camera from where I'm sitting and eliminate all the friction in between. Another scenario where this remote comes in clutch is when I'm cloning myself in a video. Anyone who has attempted to clone themselves knows just how tedious it can be. And the number one rule while doing this is to try to keep the camera in the same position as much as possible. Just set it and forget it. But that can be difficult to do if you have to stop recording, change clothes, and start recording again. Usually there's some amount of shifting that goes unnoticed until I start editing. And sometimes that shift can ruin the whole shot. That's not something I worry about with this remote. The next one is not one that I do personally, but I'm pretty sure some of you can find it useful. And that's vlogging in the car. So from what I've seen, usually the camera's set up on a dashboard or on the windshield closer to the vlogger. And that's mainly to keep the camera within arm's reach, right? So that you can control it. Makes sense, right? But if you have this guy, you can set up the camera anywhere and still have control over your camera. And it's a lot safer than reaching for the camera all the time. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I think we're done with the shoot. I think everyone can go home. I ran an obstacle and a range test with this remote and <laughs> the range is amazing. I was able to control the camera from various distances, starting at 10 feet and ending up at 200 feet. Now we're at 50 feet. We're gonna zoom in, zoom out. We are 100 feet away from the camera. Yo, <laughs> if this works, this is nuts. This is crazy. All right, so we're zooming in. Zooming out, and that's a hundred feet. But you know, let's see what else we could do. All right, now, <laughs> now we are at 200, 200 feet away from this camera. All right, zooming in, zooming out zooming in and zooming out yeah that's it 200 feet which is crazy for a camera accessory and the obstacle test was a hit or miss all right so the next test we're going to do is going to be a obstacle test basically i'm going to put an obstacle in between the camera and the remote and see if we still have connection first one on the list this tree 
let's go oh and i will be recording so you guys can see now i'm going to be completely behind this tree and we're zooming in and zooming back out this next test is going to be this car behind me we're going to go right behind the car and see if we can still connect to the camera let's go also we'll be recording again so now we're behind this car here and i'm gonna squat down zooming in zooming out give me a thumbs up if it worked <laughs> I couldn't get it working behind a tree, but yet I was able to get it working behind the car. I think the difference might be the distance because the camera was a lot closer to the car than it was the tree. Now, I'm not that big into photography, but I think it works just as good in that area. I got some nice shots that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get as a solo creator. And it works well for product photography as well, especially if you have to be in a shot holding the product. It comes with one lithium coin battery, which I'm not a fan of. I really wish that it had a USB-C rechargeable battery, kind of like the Apple TV remote does. So I wouldn't have to purchase another battery when this one dies. This is an accessory any creator can appreciate, especially if you're a solo creator who vlogs or wanna add more dynamic content to your videos. It really makes creating content that much easier. I'll link it in the description below if you wanna check it out. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Also, you made it this far, so I know you don't hate the video, so go ahead and subscribe for more content. And if you're new here, welcome to the Tech Tribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.